Coopus Live Arena says Elba will play opening gig after inspection. The troubled new Coopus Live Arena has said it has completed an inspection that should allow it to finally open after a string of problems and delays. The Manchester venue was forced to postpone its launch for a third time at the last minute last week after part of the ventilation system became detached. A statement said it was satisfied with the result of the inspection, which found it was an isolated fault. Rock band Elbo are now due to open the UK's biggest indoor arena on Tuesday. Comedian Peter Kay was originally due to open the venue, which will hold up to 23,500 people, on the 23rd of April. But his shows were postponed twice because the building wasn't ready, with issues including power supply and emergency communications. Its third attempt at opening came on the 1st of May with a visit by US rapper Boogie Wit Da Hoodie. However, that concert was called off as thousands of his fans waited outside following an incident during the soundcheck when a component of HVAC system, used to direct air, separated from the ductwork. That problem then led to two shows by US pop star Olivia Rodrigo and one by the band Keen to be postponed, while five gigs by Take That were moved to the rival AO Arena in Manchester. At the time, Coopus Live said it would take a short pause to allow for an independent inspection of all elements of the arena ceiling. The venue has now said that inspection has been carried out, not by an external body but by a subcontractor, says, which has been responsible for installing the arena's giant air handling units. Following the incident in the bowl on 1 May 2024, an inspection and verification report was undertaken by says subcontractors, a Coopus Live statement said. In consultation with Manchester City Council, responsible authorities, and wider stakeholders, we are satisfied with the process and outcome of the investigation identifying the HVAC nozzle as an isolated manufacturing default. This is a standard process of review in any venue when such an incident occurs. We now look forward to welcoming fans to Elbow's opening performance on 14 May 2024. A council statement said, The council has received documentation that confirms that the venue has carried out the necessary investigations following the incident with their air ducting that provides reassurance that they have considered their duties under health and safety law. In late April, the council and emergency services referred to other concerns about the building but the local authority has said those were addressed before the aborted a boogie wit da hoodie show. A separate statement from Coopus Live on Friday said it was thrilled to be gearing up to open our doors and especially disappointed to have delayed our introduction and frustrated so many in the process. For all shows rescheduled to take place at Coopus Live, and for those ticket holders of shows next week that have worried about their shows taking place, we want to ensure that all fans have the best possible experience at their long-awaited event, the venue said. Ticket holders for shows in the next two weeks, plus the rescheduled Rodrigo and Keen concerts, will get a free drink and food item, it added. The venue had been criticized for charging £8.95 for some pints of beer. Whilst we know this won't erase the inconvenience and upset caused by the original postponements, we hope it will help everyone have the best possible time on the night. Earlier on Friday, Keen's gig was rescheduled for October, and the venue said it would continue to work with Olivia Rodrigo and team to secure new dates for her.